Hi all, in this video we will be discussing question number 30 from Gate Chemistry 2019. The product obtained in the reaction of Mn2CO10 with Br2 is. The answer to this question can be obtained from 18 electron rule which tells that the total number of electrons around a central transition metal atom should be 18 in order for that complex to be stable. This total valence electrons or total electron count around a central transition metal in a complex can be calculated by adding the total valence electrons on central transition metal and the electrons donated by the ligands. The valence electrons on central transition metal can be obtained from its electronic configuration and electrons donated by the ligand can be obtained from its structure. For example, iron, its electronic configuration is 3d6 for s2. Hence, it has 8 valence electrons. So, in a complex central transition metal, iron will provide 8 electron. Similarly, if manganese is the central transition metal from the electronic configuration, we can say that the electrons donated by manganese for a complex formation will be 7. Now, if we consider ligands, for example, ammonia and carbonyl both has one lone pair of electrons and hence will be two electron donors. In the question, the central transition metal is manganese which has seven valence electrons. And since two manganese atoms are present, it will contribute a total of 14 electron. And the ligand carbonyl is a two electron donor. And since 10 carbonyl is present, it will donate 20 electrons. Therefore, the total electron count will be 14 plus 20 equal to 34. According to 18 electron rule, the total electron count in a complex should be in multiples of 18 for the complex to be stable. Hence, the complex requires two more electrons, meaning one MN-MN bond is present. Therefore, the structure of complex Mn2CO10 will be like this. To this structure, upon the addition of bromine, different things can happen. First is, Mn-Mn bond can break. Second option, carbonyl of this complex can be replaced. Or a third case in which both the Mn-Mn bond can break as well as carbonyl can be replaced. Let us see the first way in which Mn-Mn bond is broken. Upon breaking one Mn-Mn bond, one Br will be added and MnCO5 Br will be formed. The total electron count of MnCO5 Br will be from Mn 7 electrons and from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 carbonyls, 10 electron and from 1 Br, 1 electron and a total of 18 electrons. So this complex follows 18 electron rule. The other option is carbonyl can be replaced. If one carbonyl is replaced, since carbonyl is a 2 electron donor, instead of one carbonyl, two bromine atom should be present since bromine is only a 1 electron donor. Therefore, the complex formed should be Mn, Co9 and Br2. Mn, Co9, Br2 should be formed. In the third case, where both Mn, Mn bond is broken as well as carbonyl is replaced. In such a case, we will get Mn, Co4, Br3, where one Mn, Mn bond is replaced by one bromine and one carbonyl is replaced by two bromine, thus giving MnCO4 Br3. And among the options given, option A, MnCO5 Br matches with the first method and no other options matches with the other ways. Therefore, the correct option is option A, MnCO5 Br. And other way to solve this question is from the options. In the first way, 
we solved from the question and obtain the answer and in the second way from the options we can obtain the answer we can calculate 18 electron rule in each option and we can see which options follows 18 electron rule for example option a mncu5 br mn valence electron is equal to 7 carbonyl is a 2 electron donor therefore carbonyl will donate 2 into 5 equal to 10 and bromine will contribute 1 and therefore total electron count will be 18 so the option a is following 18 electron rule now option b mn2 co8 br2 mn2 will give 2 into 7 that equal to 14 electrons 8 carbonyl will give 16 electron and 2 bromine will give 2 electron as we saw earlier the complex had one mn mn bond and it will also donate two electron therefore the total electron count of this complex will be 14 plus 16 plus 2 plus 2 equal to 34 so option b does not obey 18 electron rule option c mncu4 br2 the number of valence electrons on manganese equal to 7 carbonyl will give 8 electrons and 2 Br will donate 2 electron and hence the total electron count will be 17. So option C also does not follow 18 electron rule. Option D Mn2CO9 Br in this also Mn will give 14, CO will give 18, 1 bromine will give 1 and 1 Mn Mn bond is present in this case giving a total electron count of 14 plus 18 plus 1 plus 2 equal to 35. The option D also does not follow 18 electron rule. So the only option among the four that follows 18 electron rule is option A and hence the correct answer is option A. For further reference you can visit NPTEL site and the YouTube link is given below.